Brian, thanks so much. And we have been getting more photos and more videos sent into us. This the first photo we've had of lightning, though. My goodness, look at this. Lisa Degg, she sent us this video. I mean, this is a photo rather. Sorry, excuse me. This in brilliant two lightning strikes. One, it looks like it is. A, it is a video. It's a screen grab from a video. You can see the timeline of the video there just underneath the, the photo. But so so that was caught on a video and sent into us uh, via screen grab there from Lisa. And this is that new Athens tornado. And we have had two tornadoes in two distinct areas today, at least. Uh, Brian is going to have to help us out with how many tornadoes actually were reported today. The two that we have been getting the most info from so far, New Athens and Wintersville, we'll just call them New Athens tornado, Wintersville tornado uh, for our purposes here, just kind of to describe them to you. And that one from the New Athens tornado, and that was sent to us via chime in. So that was that tornado that was in, of course, the New Athens area. It was also in uh, northern Belmont County, southern Jefferson County. This photo sent to us of the Wintersville tornado. Joe Hickman sent this to us via chime in and take a look at that funnel cloud. I mean, that is something that you don't see every day here in the Ohio Valley. You can see it just straight up and down very, very obviously. And I am told we're going to go live to another one of our reporters in just a moment here. But for now, let's take a look at this uh, photo again sent to us by Joe Hickman. This he was traveling towards Steubenville took that in Wintersville, and that one is the one that happened later. So if you're just tuning in, tuning in, if you're expecting to see Jeopardy right now, we are live because we've had multiple tornadoes here in the Ohio Valley this evening. It all started around five o'clock. We've been on air uh, with coverage constantly of these uh, tornadic systems since then. This was the later of the two tornadoes. Uh, the two that we have been reporting on so far. Obviously, Brian's going to talk to us in a few minutes and, and he'll be able to tell us if there were more. But this one in the Wintersville area came second. This was in the six o'clock half hour toward that six o'clock hour. Uh, the first one in New Athens was just after five o'clock. We got reports of that. Wintersville, again, confirmed tornado. This is it. You see it there. That tornado touchdown did some significant damage to at least one home. Uh, multiple homes in the Bantam Ridge area. News 9's Kate Davison is on site for us. She is in New Athens right now. Let's go to Kate Davison live. Yeah, hey guys, here from New Athens, just arrived, and I want to just say quickly, driving in was quite the scene. You can see trees down, branches are everywhere, but behind me, probably one of the biggest scenes, I'm standing here now with New Athens Volunteer Fire Chief Randy Colbertson. Randy, behind us, the roof ripped off of this home. Have you ever seen anything like this here? No, not in this area. Uh, this is, I've been with this department 21 years. Uh, I've never seen anything this magnitude. So talk about this scene behind us here. I know we showed you guys just a little bit earlier. This scene, the roof completely, I mean, completely demolished, can we say? Yes, it's demolished. Uh, we're trying to salvage what we can for the family. Um, before the heavy rain hits them, we will no longer be able to go in there. Um, so we're trying to get what we can salvage. We're trying to tarp off furniture and stuff like that for them just to, just to keep what, what they have. And you were in town when this happened earlier yes. okay so what were you seeing when you were in town uh i live on the south end of town and um it it actually wasn't that bad uh, from from what my house was i came outside got an alert on the phone and i looked behind my house and i seen a funnel cloud and uh i was like you know trying to get game plan in action and um we started getting tones for uh, structure damage and power lines down and stuff like that so uh, of course we lost power at the fire station so we had to fire up our generators get the doors open get the trucks rolling so it took us a few minutes to get ourselves out on scene and uh, once we got here we started evaluating of course this was the the worst uh, structure we had we do have a couple other structures that have minor damage to them um, I did a perimeter sweep as quickly as I could trying to uh, navigate around all the power lines and trees down. So, uh, but uh, as far as I encountered, uh, all residents were were accounted for. No lives were lost. So, that's that's the main thing. The structures and stuff can be rebuilt, be replaced. So, 
all lives were was what we were looking for. Everybody was accounted for. Definitely. And, and to touch on that, too, when I was driving into town, this is a scene because everybody is outside of their, their homes. They're checking on their neighbors. They're, you know, walking down the street, surveying the damage. And uh, it's just something, like we said, that we have never seen here before. So, yeah, like I said, uh, 21 years and this is the worst I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, everybody's out checking on everybody's small town, which big storms that does happen um quite often everybody goes out and checks on everybody so you know we're blessed to have have that in our community so you know everybody's coming out to help what they can do and make things safe for everybody i was going to say that there's lots of mutual aid here today tonight uh, who all came in to help uh wow i know caddis is here uh harrisville I've seen a couple members uh, from other departments who were just coming through stop to help uh, with traffic control and stuff till we got stuff going. Uh, very appreciative of, you know, all their help. Um, we do have Red Cross on their way down to help out a couple families. Obviously, um, the home behind us, they're going to get them put up in a shelter and stuff for, for tonight. And uh, their insurance company, they're waiting to hear back from them to... Uh, you know see what what we can do with that structure so is there anything you want residents here to know tonight tomorrow as this cleanup truly begins right yeah um basically if i mean if you have any structural damage uh contact your insurance company if it's major um get a hold of somebody from the fire department we can send out red cross um try to get them to evaluate if you need put up somewhere if anybody with home health needs uh, oxygen or whatever if we need to come out and put them in a temporary shelter we have the means to do that so please contact somebody from the fire department sheriff's department ema um, and we'll try to get out there as quickly as we can to uh, to help them out yeah definitely a community effort here tonight thank you chief randy colbertson i appreciate your time with us this evening and more from New Athens, more live coverage coming up. But for now, reporting live in New Athens, I'm Kate Davison for News 9. Kate, Chief Colbertson, thank you so much. Let's go now to Tyler Madden. He is covering that Wintersville tornado and the damage therein. Tyler. Rich, it's still a very active scene out here. We're here on Bantam Ridge Road in Wintersville. And joining me here now is Chief hey, Harrington honey, of the Wintersville Fire Department. Chief, you said you had a very important message that you want to get out to the community. Yeah, the most important thing is don't come to Bantam Ridge unless you live out here. The police are stopping all the units. If you don't have a driver's license for this area, you're not going to get in. We've got power lines down everywhere. We've got debris everywhere. So, again, we can't have sightseers back here because there's a lot of work going on trying to get the streets clear, get the power lines clear. And so to kind of ask you about the damage that's here on this road, you've had no injuries in Wintersville so far throughout what we've seen so far. Right. We cleared all the houses initially when we got here. No injuries. Um, there were people in the structures when, when the storm hit. Um, obviously, we had a rotation here, a cloud uh, with rotation. Um, we've got, I think right now, about seven structures damaged. Plus, we had a fire in the church uh, on Ward Drive in Bam Ridge. Um, which is just a small fire, made possibly even from a lightning strike. Um, so right now the seat is secure, um, no no injuries, and, and we're just, again, trying to get control of the utilities and things like that. And just message to the community, if you don't need to be out, stay at home. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, you, you know, there's going to be plenty of pictures up on, you know, on, on your station and social media, of course. But, yeah, if, if you don't live out here, the police aren't going to let you in, so don't try. Uh, we've got a fairly long line of traffic out there that we're just turning around. So, um, you know, we need a little bit of time to get, get a handle on the utilities, get the roads the rest of the way open. Um, and, and the people that are in these structures are dealing with damages and try to get, you know, water runoff and things like that controlled. So just, you know, everybody just needs to respect that and, and allow us to do our work. Chief, I appreciate the time. Stay okay. safe out there. All right, thank you. And again, message from Winterville Fire Chief Harrington is if you don't need to be out, just stay at home. So for now, we're live here in Jefferson County, Tyler Madden. News 9, Rich, we'll send things back to you. All right, Tyler, thanks so much. Tyler and Kate on scene right now. Claire O'Neill's out there too. We have more coverage coming up in just a little bit and tonight at 10 and after the Olympics on WTOV9. Let's go now back to Brian Ivey. Well, Brian, thanks so much. And we've been getting some dramatic photos, of course, sent to us now, too. And we're trying to share as many as we can on our social media. That's on WTOV News 9 on Facebook, Twitter. And this is, I'm sorry, what was that? We are now taking a look. This is video just in from New Athens. Actually, this is a live look from New Athens. Uh, that home damaged. Nobody was injured. Nobody was in the home at the time, is my understanding. 
uh, but obviously significant damage in New Athens. So we've got homes damaged in New Athens. We've got homes damaged in Wintersville. Uh, you see the roof. You can see the uh, the insulation there peeking out through what was once the roof over that wall line there, uh, and that's in two separate locations on that home. Uh, the first being on the near side, and then if you go kind of over the crest of the roof line there, you can see on uh, the other side of the home the same thing. So it's uh, two similar situations there. And I am told that we're gonna have, are we gonna have Tyler Madden? Are we able to go to, we're able to go to Tyler Madden right now. Tyler Madden is in Wintersville, and he sent us video back just a few minutes ago of that other home on Bantam Ridge that was that was really damaged severely by this tornado. Let's go to let's go to Tyler now. Then we'll go to Brian in a few minutes. Let's go to Tyler now. Rich, good evening. We're actually here in Wintersville for a separate story. Now, the rain has kind of died down a little bit. It, it was slow at the beginning. Now, it sounds like it's starting to pick up a little bit. We're here on Bantam Ridge Road in Wintersville, and this house behind me took a massive amount of damage. It was, um, as we can see on the video that uh, that we sent in from previously, before it started raining, right when we first got on the scene about 30 minutes ago. And if you look here now, there's still first responders on the scene, even down the street, as we look. And it looks like there's down power lines down there. This road was shut down for a little bit. Only people that were resident in the area were allowed to be on this road but this house took a massive amount of damage you can look it looks kind of like the garage area was the one that was impacted the most by this storm there's been storm damage uh, everywhere and we can confirm from all the reporting done by brian ivy and rich pierce that there was a storm the tornado that touched down here in wintersville and it came right through talking to neighbors around here they said it got kind of eerily quiet and then all of a sudden the skies opened up and it started raining and this was the damage that we were left with again. We're here on Bantam Ridge Road in Wintersville and there's down power lines here. This house took a tremendous amount of damage and we'll bring you all the updates we can online and on our app. For now, live here in Jefferson County, Tyler Madden, News 9. Rich, back to you. And Tyler, thanks so much. And, and I think it is worth noting that it looked like there was a metal roof on that house. So you can see the sheer force that just ripped off like that. Let's go back to Brian Ivey now for the latest.